What's going on YouTube? Counting Games back here again with two of the best uh, pretty much artists and you know what I mean, let's say uh, self-help coaches in the world, Kevin Samuels and Alpha Male Strategies. Strategies. This one's called Advice to All Men That Are Going Through Tough Times. This one should be fire, guys. Never heard it before, but let's react to it. Let's go. Dude, understand something. All you need to know is you behind. You sitting back trying to figure out where you made a wrong turn along the lines is like a schizophrenic trying to diagnose a manic depressant. No, dude, you can't go back through all your past hurts, breakups, and everything else, and all you are doing is going through wreckage. Mm. You need someone that can shine a light into your situation. What I'm saying is basically you cannot do it on yourself. So when I hear dudes say, I'm analyzing myself, no, you are not competent enough to run your own life. And that's not a bad thing. Again, credit. If your credit is 450, you're not competent enough to fix your own credit. You need a credit repair counselor to fix it. Then you maintain it. Your biggest concern is not getting ripped off for, for three, four, five hundred dollars, throwing it away on a dating coach or a life coach or somebody. That's not your biggest concern. Mm. Sitting back trying to say, well, which one should I go to? Uh, who, who's qualified to talk to? Dude, all you need to know is you fucked up. Five hundred dollars thrown away and you get zero return because they didn't fix your life in six weeks is not your issue. Uh, say that again. You can't sit back and talk about, oh, well, you know, I don't know. It's a lot of money. You've lived a life of 30 plus years old. You done fucked it up enough on your own. And you done damn sure tricked off thousands of dollars on these broads. That's true. That money would have been better invested in self-improvement. That's so true. So you can miss me with the, you got to analyze and I don't have and I don't know and the money, money. You know, no, no, no. Because, see, here's where women have it right. You cannot want women to be submissive and follow your lead. If you if you bust out the Hungry Man dinners, the Swanson dinners, for life. I don't mean you're eating Swanson and ramen because you're saving money to invest in this and you got a plan. Let me tell you right now. You're behind in life if you don't have a plan. If you don't have a one-year, five-year, and ten-year plan. This is the most important thing in life, guys, is to have a plan, man. Have a plan in place. So if you're with a chick or you're with whatever your family, you're saying, all right, listen up. I'm going to try and develop something that's going to help us try to get out of this mess. You know what I mean? If you're just going randomly to random jobs and not having a five-year, ten-year plan, you are screwed in life, guys. You are heading backwards, you know what I mean, to where that ship came from. You're heading right back there, guys, and it's never going to move, guys. You're going to be constantly there. If you do not have a plan on how to get the hell out, out of the situation. You behind. If you've never had a plan. Yep. Say it again. You know who the dudes are behind? The dudes that are behind, they don't plan anything. Mm. They've never planned anything. Life is just being led. You're just living life on instinct. Mm. There's no plan. There's no strategy. There's no methodology. It's just, I got a job. I go to work. They pay me. Do not be above going to clean toilets at the local Walmart or uh, working at the local Piggly Wiggly. Like I said, I waited tables. That was one of the best skills I could have. Be becoming a waiter was one of the best things I ever did because it was cash money and it put me in heavy circulation. Any kind of business to where you can get paid cash, mm. waiting tables, bartending, that kind of stuff is great. Things that allow you to Build your business during the day yeah, and work at night. Yeah. Like I said, convenience stores, that kind of stuff. Uh, 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 an empty stomach and pride don't match. What I'm saying mm. this for is ultimately, guys, here's Always, like, what... like have that side hustle too. You get enough money to kind of switch over, guys. That's basically what he's trying to say. Very, very true. What you cannot do. Man, I'm behind. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm behind. I sure need to get better. Stop saying it. I mean, seriously. Real talk. Stop saying that. Because here's what the world hears. You sound like a baby, a victim. Nobody wants to hear that you're behind. What people want to see is sweat coming off your face and effort. And then people ask you, damn, you're working hard. What you working so hard for? Shit, dude, I got to get it. I, I, I've been living behind. That's that goddamn confession. Mm. That's that holding yourself accountable. But see, let me, let me paint that picture again. One dude sitting back, man, I'm behind. Life ain't, ain't where it should be. I'm just behind, man. Damn, I'm behind. How many people want to sit around a dude like that? They be like, oh, my bad, dude. Okay. 
People just clear out around you. But then another dude come in, he's stacking boxes. He ain't saying shit to nobody. Stacking them motherfucking boxes. Nick stacking boxes. Stacking. Wipes the sweat off his face. Grab a little water. He's stacking boxes. Moving shit out of the way. And pushing shit. Excuse me. Uh, what's up, man? Stacking them boxes. And fucking them boxes up. And sweating and shit. And stacking them boxes. And like, bruh. You are working like John Henry. What's going on, man? I mean, damn, you are, it's 100 degrees out here and you stacking the shit out them boxes. What's up, what, what's up, fam? Man, I'm behind, dude. I'm behind like a motherfucker. I know I should be further along in life. I got to get it, man. I got to get it, man. I got to get it. Now, there are two different responses. The, the stranger will walk away from the first dude. Nobody want to be around you. But the stranger would would sit back and say, shit, that nigga getting it. Let me get out of his way, man. All right, good luck, bro. Keep it doing it, man. And that dude would be like, nigga, I need to get out of here and get it. He out here getting it. And then the mindset of both of those dudes, the first dude, he's a pity party. Mm. The second dude is honestly don't care what the stranger thought or not. He's just stacking the goddamn boxes, mm. getting it done. Stop saying it. Ask yourself a question, guys. When's True. the last time you really worked hard? True. I mean, really worked hard. Mm. When was the last time you went to bed exhausted? Yeah, that's a really good one, guys. Like, I I think the people think here, I'm just making these videos, just doing shit, talking shit. Guys, I literally go to bed like 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, just editing every night. Like, you guys have to be like super, super hard working for the shit. You know what I mean? And not working stupid. Because if you're obviously doing something that's just a dead-end job, that's never going to make you money from it, that's probably not working smart either. But if you're like building it to build another business or whatever... Then, yeah, it's building smart, so. Say that again. Anybody play football in high school? Two-a-days? When, was the, when you would go to bed exhausted? The good thing about going to bed exhausted is you sleep like a baby. Mm. You sleep like a baby. Because nice. when you're exhausted, your subconscious knows, I went after it today. Mm. I burned it all up. True that. Cannot be stressed. You can't toss and turn when you're exhausted. Mm. But, you know, back when I was going through my, my marriage was falling apart and, and everything, I hated my job. Dude, My I woke up at 6, 17 every morning like Groundhog Day. Mm. And every morning, I would wake up and immediately my stomach would crunch into a knot. I was stressed. I was miserable. I actually later that year started suffering panic attacks. Mm. I was actually at a friend's house and I was had gone through suffering panic attacks. Damn. And I went from all I remember is I was standing there talking to my buddy and the next thing I know, I was eating a cookie. And next thing I know, you ever hit your head so hard like a football hit? I went from being six foot four and I just all I remember is my head bouncing off the fucking uh, linoleum. I missed the corner of the kitchen island by that much. I landed, I split my shit open right here, and it was just concussion. I had a concussion. Panic attacks, concussion. I went to the emergency room twice, thinking I was having a heart attack. It was panic attacks. Jesus. Evicted, car repossessed, divorced. World was falling apart. Mm. Good man, good husband, good father, good stepfather. All that shit that's going on at one time. Lost my job. Mm. Started a new job. Mm. Lost that one because I was not in the mind space. All this stuff fell apart. And do you know in 12 months, it was restored plus. I went from here to there. Not having a car to buying my BMW cash. Ooh, a lot of people would have given up. Wanted to die. Yeah. I know I did not understand what was happening, but I knew I needed to fight. Yeah, that's I cool. had every reason to be angry, Let's get it. and I was. I had every reason to be sad, and I was. I had every reason. No one would have faulted me, mm. but I did. I wanted better. I said, you know what? That's it. You're on your back. The only place to look is up. Yeah. So I'm not just true. on this YouTube shit just pumping your head full of stuff. I'm telling you. Your life can change in a year. Yep. The lowest point in your life is a good thing. Very that means true. you only have up to go. I love you it. You got to do something. Yep. When you are doing something, 
People will help you. At the lowest point in my, in my life, friends around were okay with helping because they knew that I was doing something. Mm. I was fighting. I was moving forward. I was doing something. I had to cobble this together, cobble that together, this part-time job, this, this setback, this ahead. No, it wasn't pretty, but I didn't only survive it. I thrived through it. Yes, yeah, Why class. can't you? No, 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 wrong question. Why won't you? Oof, that's powerful right there, guys. So if you're obviously in a shit situation, guys, just kind of be happy because... It can almost be worse, first of all, and second of all, like you're just you already have nothing. You got nothing to lose, guys. So just keep pushing forward, keep moving up. There's no back to it. There's no going back on these things, guys. You will you will eventually push through, it, guys. Nothing ever stays the same. Kevin Samuels really, man. That's some crazy advice, guys. Always make a plan. Make sure you guys have a plan because if you don't have a plan, you're basically just you're basically just spinning around in the harbor. If you're you know what I mean. You're not actually moving anywhere, uh, and you need to start moving, guys. So start moving, start doing stuff. Absolutely love it. Love you guys all, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.